Still can't get the free throws to drop. And they'll get one more chance at the line. Well, Parker, his team trailing 27 to 18. Second free throw up. That looks better than it is. Swish. So 27 19. 6 04 to go in this one. Well, and Tulsa, you, go well, ahead, I was just going to say, you talked about RJ Fisher not being here uh, on the floor with the team. So, uh, you know, maybe just. Uh, Ike having a little trouble settling in without a, a big three there. <laughs> oh, yeah, <man>. guest. <laughs> Not a guest in this house. No. Corey buries a big three. Baseline jumper, no good. And that rebound goes down to Boone, and it's quickly an 11 point lead. Far side, guest thought about it again. Corey up top, Kalen Boone. Kalen looking to attack. Right handed dribble, hesitation. And he did travel, yeah. Yeah. Slipped, right foot slipped, left foot slipped, and uh, the turnover going back to Lot Nike. I uh, just, uh, again, uh, kind of wanted to just kind of punctuate the point I was mentioning earlier about uh, Fisher not being on the floor, and there's Ike. Big block by Memorial. Yeah, it was a huge block, and they get the ball back out of bounds. So now Memorial looking to push as Lot Nike wasn't ready to play defense. Hand to Guess. Guess reverse web. Open, drives. Guess ball fake three. Down the paint. Floater up. Good. Got it. Beautiful floater there, and it's 32-19 Tulsa Memorial. Um, I tell you what, that's just big time uh, talent right there. There's no other way to put it other than the, the, you know, you mentioned it a few moments ago. College coaches all over the place now. Sw college coaches swarming like bees here in the uh, maybe center, watching these guys play. And they call it travel as Gordon was trying to get inside, and it'll be Memorial ball checking back into the game for Lot Nike is Reggie Smith. He's got a corner three. As Ike trying to rush the bodies in, but they're down 13 nearly halfway through the second quarter. Big skip pass. Kalen Boone, late closeout. Guy made it anyways. Oh, man. And you could see Kenneth Graham shake his head as he closed out as good as he could, and the shot was still made. It's like, hey, what can I do, coach? What can I do uh, with the uh, <laughs> – I, I hate to say there's nothing you can do, but obviously – Right there in that particular, here we go, another three. No good. Kalen Boone clears the board. Outlet to Guest. Guest ahead to Boone, and it's going to be laid up and good off the glass is Caleb Boone. The pass from Kenyon Boone, or Keelan Boone, Kalen Boone. Sorry, got the Boone, wrong name. And Boone Reggie and Boone. Smith. You're right. Foul on Reggie Smith, not the defensive back for OU, but the guard for Lot Nike. And quickly, Memorial leads by 18, and Lot Nike wants a timeout to talk about it. It's a full. We'll take it with him back to the Navy Center after this. Back here at the Navy Center. 37-19 Memorial JD, and this thing has gotten out of hand in a hurry. It was 27-16 at the end of the first quarter, and it's 10-2 midway through the second quarter, and that leads to an 18-point victory for Tulsa Memorial. Well, I tell you what, no, <clears throat> for sure, for sure. And Ike, you know, uh, they're Ike. Uh, their coaching staff just trying to come up with some answers here and it's very difficult when you look down through uh, some of the talent that memorial has here on the floor here this evening here at the maybe center but you know ike's going to keep bringing it the best they can here throughout this ball game caleb Boone makes a free throw and memorial has ike doubled up it's 38 19. three ball on the way right wing halfway down no good and back comes Memorial. Walker's got it. Walker pushes, pulls up. Three ball on the way. Off the rim, no good. You could tell the entire time he wanted to shoot it, and he got the opening he needed. Kalen Boo tried to pull it down. 
Uh, Kalen Boone there. I know that he wasn't able to corral it, but just how he exploded in to uh, try to get to the basketball is absolutely incredible. It was impressive here. Ball to Lot Nike. Floater up no good. Farmer's got the rebound. It's shared. Nearly a travel, but neither guy stepped. Now the quarter. Gordon, three ball. Online, but short, no good. He's got a gorgeous high arcing shot. Ike out working there. Gordon again. Drives. He traveled. Let's see if they call it. They do. Excellent call by the officials, and it's just they get the ball back three times, but the length of Memorial affected every shot. No doubt about it. Uh, <laughs> just, oh, man, just uh, very impressed with Absolutely. what I'm seeing here on the floor here from Memorial. Ball nearly thrown away, but Guest gets it now to Boone. Boone to Boone, and the bounce pass low and behind. We would have had a dunk for Memorial. Caleb telling Kalen he wanted the oop, and that's why he was going up for it. Memorial leads 38-19, under three to go, first half. Ike with the ball in the front court. Three-pointer faked up to the top is Farmer. Farmer thinking about it. Ball underneath, back out top. Who nearly stolen. Pull up on the baseline, long no good. Rebound underneath. Excellent board going back up and scoring. Strong move by Mark Berry. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Ike's been uh, waiting to, uh, or we've been waiting to see an inside presence from Ike, and right there, coming up with a big play there, Mark Berry with the uh, inside presence for Ike. Webb drives baseline, and a charge is going to be called on Webb is taking it as Farmer. Farmer doing a lot of the dirty work inside for the Eagles as they trail by 17 and back into the game is Kayvon Key. Key replaces Webb. As you see, broken arrows start to head down to their locker room to get ready for the nightcap. Broken arrow in Santa Fe playing next to take on PC North. Lot Nike, the jumper there by Barry. They are taking on Tulsa Memorial. The winner will play Booker T. Well, Barry, I tell you what, he's kind of one of those guys that what we've seen here in the last couple of possessions, uh, kind of putting the weight of the team on his shoulders to try to get a little uh, comeback working here. Let's see what they can do defensively. Caleb Boone trying to swing it. Ball gets knocked away. Didn't use his height. Barry's got it. Now Mark Barry, he's been a one-man band here the last Ooh. few possessions, but can't get, cannot convert. Really good pull up there. Minute 40 to go. No good. Caleb Boone. Dribble hands off. What a steal by Farmer. Memorial getting sloppy with the ball. Lot Knight's got a chance. Farmer drives, layup, up and in, and it's 13 now. Memorial's gotten sloppy with the ball, J.D., and Lot Nike's turned turnovers into buckets. Yeah, no doubt about it. Of course, uh, that's uh, just not keeping the foot on the gas pedal, if you will, for Memorial. And I know that uh, their coach, uh, Coach Allison, can't be happy with it, and he'll certainly talk to him about that uh, coming up here at halftime. But Ike putting on the uh, pressure here a little bit, trying to get another turnover. Yeah, Parker and Graham doing a great job with pressuring. Long rebound, though. Get it back as Boone to the corner is key. Key launches a three. Long no good. And the rebound, here comes Parker. Parker, Euro step block, and one. Lot Nike, the Eagles are soaring right now. Lead cut to 11, potentially 10 as they encourage their fans from the 580 sitting behind us to get loud here in the Navy Center. Back in the game, Antonio Gordon. Yeah, and I tell you what, uh, taking a big shot right there uh, was uh, Shamar Walker. He kind of got up, uh, shake the uh, cobwebs off, if you will, and uh, the uh, Memorial Charger fans, they're not happy campers, but uh, Ike Eagle fans, as you mentioned, right behind us, uh, getting fired up. The Shady 580, as they call it, representing in the stands behind us, and the lead is cut to 10. This is an important run, J.D. If they can keep it around 10 or even get to single digits by halftime, you take the momentum in, and you just never know what can happen. If it's 17, 18, that's a different game. Yeah. Ike knows they need a close strong here. Memorial could but desperately use a bucket as their lead of 19 was cut to 10. It was 38-19. It's 38-20 at 9. A run. Great move by Webb. Skips far corner to Key. Key drives baseline. Key up. Off the rim. No good. Rebound Gordon. Pushing are the Eagles. Gordon. We thought about the three, and he did travel. He lived, picked the left pivot foot up before the ball hit the floor. That was a great call by the official. Uh, he, he went to dribble. Yes, he did. But before the ball hit the floor, the left foot came up, got in a hurry, and that's silly. Should have just shot the first shot. 
Well, just that indecision there, Brian. He, as you mentioned, he thought about the shot and then kind of changed his mind. And uh, as you mentioned, he should have went ahead and put it up. Webb to Walker, Walker. Drive, that should be another charge, no call. Rebound to Ike, 10 seconds to go, plenty of time. Attacking, floater, up, blocked, and out of bounds. Well, you don't like to see shaking the head from team match. Mark Berry really upset he didn't get the ball on the break. You just gotta nod your head and move on. You keep the ball seven seconds, plenty of time. Farmer's got it. Farmer to Berry. Berry, five seconds, four. He wants a shot to Farmer. Great shot, free throw line short, three, two. In the hands of Memorial. And that'll end the first half of play. Great closing 9-0 run by Lot Knight to cut this thing to 10. It's Memorial 38, Lot Knight 28. Back with a halftime recap after this. All right, this is Adam, take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Back here at the Maybe Center, 38-28 Memorial leads. As we'll break down the halftime statistics, I'll take a quick look at the field goal percentage and tell you that Lot Nike shot 34% and Tulsa Memorial shot 50%. That was a huge difference. Tulsa Memorial also 6 of 11 from 3. Lot Nike only 2 of 11 from 3. You hear those numbers, J.D., and I think if you're Lot Nike, you got to be pretty happy you're only down 10. Yeah, no doubt about it, of course. Uh, you know, we talk about Memorial and the, the, Boone, uh, the Boone boys, if you will, uh, one with 12, one with 10. You got uh, really nobody really standing out. Uh, Ike, uh, just a good uh, team effort there as far as uh, uh, total points as individual points. You got Markberry with six, Parker with six, Farmer with six, leading scorers Gordon with seven, and uh, free throw still uh, Memorial six of six at 100 percent, 50 percent for uh, Lot and Ike. But you talked about it. Just kind of close out the halftime show here. What Ike needed to do was get it down around that 10-point margin, and then that way they have something positive to talk about at halftime. So uh, now, hey, we're within striking distance. We just got to execute. Yeah, three shots there to even cut it to single digits. Couldn't do so. Well, 38-28 Memorial leads at the half. They're looking for a trip to the 5A state championship game to take on Booker T. Washington. We'll be back with second half action in just a few moments from the Maybe Center in Tulsa. All right, this is Adam, take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride.
Welcome back to Maybe Center as we get set for the second half of play. Tulsa Memorial 38, Lawton Knight 28. Brian Birch along with J.D. Northcutt on the call here on the NFHS Network. And J.D., uh, we get set for the second half of act action. Lot Nike made it at least now they're in the ball game right before the half. Well, like we talked about it going into that, uh, uh, going into the halftime break, Ike's got it within 10. Now what can they do with it? Obviously, you got to chip away. Uh, it'll, uh, you know that uh, Memorial and uh, Coach Bobby Allison in their locker room, they said, hey, guys, we had an opportunity to close the door on this game, but we didn't. So it'll be obviously very interesting to see what their mentality is coming in uh, here to start the third period and then see if Ike can slow this Memorial team down and chip away and get it into that uh, four or five point deficit and then go from there. Absolutely, as we start the third quarter play with Memorial ball, trying to split a double team is Webb, he does. Trying to throw it out in the length of Gordon, affects it. The farmer trying to save it and couldn't do so. He it gave it a stay. valiant effort yeah. there. <laughs> Morrill's got it in the corner, way back in the back quarter will go. 